be my help. I am. Alright then, come on. Yes, baby, I'm in there. We're gonna be talking this up ourselves, so y'all come be hearing what we talk about. Straight like that. <laughs> Back to my channel today's video as you can see it's going to be the intro to another weekly vlog or the beginning of another weekly vlog if you're new here hey girl my name is Akira Janae don't forget to subscribe and join the channel before you leave it's 12 50 it's 12 54 right now today is Tuesday February 20th 12 54 um I just woke up about maybe like 11 o'clock or so I do have to work today and tomorrow so I have a lot of stuff to do today before I go to work in about six hours, five hours. Um, I am supposed to be launching launching this hair that you see in my head. This is my virgin hair. It is gonna be obviously tremendously more affordable than raw hair because raw hair is expensive. So I have to charge, you know, the price that I charge. This one, the bundles will be starting at like $50 um, from like a 10 inch all the way up or whatever. Um, I do, I think I plan on selling all inches of hair because you know, some people do like shorter here, you know, just whatever. So I'm gonna put it on there. But um, yeah, so I have to basically completely add this to my website before tomorrow. Like I said, I do work today, so that may be a struggle, but it shouldn't be too hard because I kind of got my pricing and everything already together. It's just, I have to just go in and manually type in every single thing. And that's what's gonna be a lot. Um, I do actually need to ship out a order today. I do have the, Shipping label and stuff already printed out. So she ordered my straight um, raw hair. This is the straight raw Vietnamese. So this is what I have on hand. She ordered these three bundles. So then that will leave these two. I do have one closure available and then three bundles of the raw wavy. And yeah, I'm about to go ahead and ship her stuff out. I didn't ship it yesterday because yesterday was a holiday. So I believe they wasn't open because I know if the bank's not open, the post office probably not gonna be open either. Um, I do need to feed Prince really quickly. And then once I feed him, I'm gonna go ahead and run to the post office so that I can get that out the way. And then when I come back, I will be actually sitting at my computer and stuff and trying to figure out, you know, what I'm about, basically stuff for my brand to launch this stuff tomorrow. Well, this hair. Um, I did not promote it at all besides me just wearing it and tagging it and saying that it's gonna drop on the 20, 21st. I do have this video of me unpackaging the hair that I plan on editing today and either posting today or tomorrow to actually promote and say that, you know, it's available. Um, I don't have anything on hand, so this will not be something that like, if you're local, you can order and then get it same day. It'll take about three days to get to me. Um, I did actually find an in-state vendor or she has a warehouse here or whatever. So that's amazing. So instead of waiting up to like two weeks, 14 days for some hair, I only gotta wait about three days. So that'd be really, 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 really nice. And I do actually plan on doing a um, big kind of wholesale order as well. So I'll probably have a little bit on hand. But yeah, that's kind of what's going on right now. Um, I'm about to go ahead and feed him. as well as I have not eaten anything at all. Um, I kind of want to cook what I call my famous meal so that I can have something to eat for today and tomorrow when I go to work um, because I really don't have anything else. I probably cook me like a homemade burger and french fries or something, but we'll see. Um, this is, y'all know, Farmer's Dog, um, not sponsored or anything. He is really liking it, like I keep saying. This is actually the turkey flavor, so I'm gonna go ahead and feed him this and I'm gonna package up this order and then we're gonna go to the post office as well as I'm gonna go to my boyfriend's house this weekend. So we do have a sponsor actually for today's video and they did send me over this bed and I'm actually gonna give it to my boyfriend to kind of redo his room and stuff, especially because he's moving. Um, it just fits his whole aesthetic. Like my boyfriend love lights in his house room what have you like he got the led lights the puck lights the any type of light he got baby so this bed is really cool i cannot wait to go there thursday and put this together and show you guys and I'm, I'm just ready to set it up and see how it looks he did want a type of like not really smaller bed but smaller bed because the bed that he has now is um it takes up a lot of room just simply because of the um 
what is it just the way it's made like it's like a really big frame like yeah it's a really huge bed frame so i mean i am excited to um actually put this new bed up so yeah we're gonna be doing that i'm not gonna be vlogging um tomorrow because i'll probably be sleep all day and today i'll vlog a little bit until i go to work and i'll probably pick back up the camera on friday but i wanted to introduce the vlog let you guys know what we're doing um i didn't do anything sunday and monday i basically sat at my computer and edited all day and i did kind of revamp my guest room which you guys should have saw that video on this past thursday so oh that's that let's get to packing this order really quickly um she ordered a 20 and 222 inches of straight raw vietnamese hair um i've been hooked <laughs> like literally like i said the past two days i've basically just been editing and like just doing content stuff and you know just all that type of stuff so i've also been stuck on the y'all been seeing the risa tisa i think it's how you say her name girl i've been hooked i watched all 50 parts it's funny because some of y'all that follow me on tiktok y'all been seeing me in the comments and one girl was like not you in here too like yes baby i'm in there um i started watching i think the day after valentine's day um literally got my co-workers on and everything like that is so crazy um and it just kept being you know it just kept me thrown you know thrown for a loop so I really hope that it becomes some type of like movie or she write a book or something and that we can actually maybe hear some of the audio recordings like obviously once she get a check and get paid for it um but yeah girl that that was crazy like I literally watched it in a span of like seven hours I started watching it at 4 a.m when I was at work listened to it until about eight o'clock 8 30 in the morning went to sleep woke up at like one well woke up at like yeah, woke up at like 1 and then finished it within like, by like 2.30. So, girl, it's so good. And I was just watching, what made me think of this, because I'm watching the live right now, the recorded live, and people are asking questions that she literally already answered. Like, did y'all not watch the whole videos? Like, the full 50 parts or what? And some stuff, honestly, like, I see that common sense, common sense isn't so common. But like, come on now. Like, some of the questions are like, you gotta be kidding me. So, yeah. And this, the people that she said, like she's getting hate or whatever, like, oh, how could you be so stupid and stuff like that? Like, when people are in love, like, I don't know, I guess people just never been in love before. Like, it's just crazy. Like, you gonna talk about somebody that, if you was in those, you know, everybody love to say, if I was in those shoes, like, I'll do this, I'll do that. But until you in those shoes, like, you know, like, you don't really know, so. I don't know it's just like i don't think that she should deserve hate for that or like just being called dumb like yes yeah, some of the stuff is you know crazy or dumb but like her like i don't know it's just crazy people in this world are insane like <laughs> how wh why did that man do all that and i also don't like that the girl exposed him and she had asked for her like to take that down or whatever and she refused to like baby do you not care for her safety? Like, I understand her saying, like, so this doesn't happen to other women. But, like, literally, this man is crazy. Like, if you, if she listened to what had been happening, I, I don't know. That's just crazy, girl. So, a little brand talk. I am actually about to really get back into my brand. Like, I feel like with the weekly vlogging, it's kind of just taking over, if that makes sense. And I don't want that to happen. Like, every day, I'm trying to be like... Like, I'm trying to focus on, like, okay, what am I, you know, I got to pick up the camera. Like, just, you know, everyday, everyday stuff, I still have to pick up, you know, the camera for. And it's like, you know, if I don't record it, then I won't have anything, you know, any footage for this weekly vlog. So, that's really the problem. And I'm trying to figure out balance as well. I know I talked about that in my Q&A, like, trying to find balance and stuff. And I do a pretty good job at it. It's just I've never weekly vlogged before. So, that... This is a very different situation for me. <laughs> and I just, I just don't know, <laughs> you know, like how to feel. I'm trying my absolute hardest to um 
and figure it out and y'all know i try to post sunday and thursday so sunday y'all know y'all gonna get a weekly vlog maybe it may be a monday here and there but thursday i'm trying to figure out what video to basically post like i did miss i think i missed two thursdays within the past like month month and a half or like three Thursdays. So it's kind of like I don't want my channel to just turn into weekly vlogging. Like I still want Thursdays to be some type of other, you know, related content type of vlog or something like that. So I am about to try to start back my entrepreneur series vlogs. Like all of that. I still get a lot of questions about that. So I am trying to start that back up. Um, just trying to find balance. So maybe this week if I do have time, I'll probably start planning out stuff. I may keep that for next week to like, I do plan on doing like a full Sunday reset. So since I'm about to be at work for these two days and I'm gonna go to my boyfriend's house for two days, when I come back, I'll just have to reset everything. So we're gonna go like shopping, budgeting, planning, right now, uh, my content, like just all of that jazz. Like I said, I am launching tomorrow um with this hair so i just i just need a few days to just focus on my brand and i do need to order more inventory like i'm almost out of my thank you cards my i need you to move i'm almost out of my thank you cards because i only have three of these left and since i'm about to start selling virgin hair as well i need to tweak these a little bit because they say thank you for becoming you know raw baby whatever like that um obviously i'm going to be having virgin hair as well so I, I need to tweak these a little bit in the hair care tips so that's like i just need like two full days just to focus on the brand in march i do have 15 days off coming up so i am going to utilize all right i have to kick him out because i cannot think while he's doing that um i do have 15 days off coming up in march and i am going to try to utilize those um for sure seven of those days i'm going to map out each day and wake up and clock basically treat it like a job clock in at like 9 a.m then clock out at 5 and then just let it be don't do any more content and just have my day um because that's the only way you know this is going to work so out of those seven days i do plan on two of those days being specifically just for my brand and then the other days i'm going to use for creating content like it'll be youtube stuff it'll be tiktok instagram like all of that and i really am going to um dictate everything by the hour like this hour i need to do this 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 and this so i am trying to create a strategy i'm trying to create structure discipline consistency um so next month in march which is you know about a week or so away um i'm very excited for because i just know the consistency that i have and what i can do that's with the gym content business everything as well as um what was i to say uh, i just lost my train of thought it was something i was about to say i don't know girl but i'm just i'm just trying to do overall better at this so when i packaged this i did post the hair and then i'm about to post the me just packaging it as well I know what I was trying to say. It was something about consistency, and I was just looking at my TikTok. My TikTok, I was at like 3,100 um, followers. Now I'm at 3,000, like 500, and I've just kind of been slightly consistent for since January up until now, February 20th. And I just been posting like maybe like once or twice, um, maybe like once a week, honestly. And even that is getting me, you know some good followers and stuff so i am trying to grow my tiktok line i keep saying i'm trying to get to 10,000 followers so if you would like to go follow me baby girl go follow me but um just trying to get to 10k really so that i can link all of my like content in one little folder like i'll probably put on the screen what i'm talking about if you go some, if you go to somebody's page they'll have like basically like the who the f did i marry she has a little tag up there with all her parts like you can see you know all the videos that's related to that certain topic if that makes sense like the categories so that is what i'm looking for do i got everything in here while i'm talking and running my mouth <laughs> uh, gotta put her packet slip in here um but yeah i um i've been gaining followers and it's like I really want to be consistent because TikTok, I feel like it is so easy to grow on TikTok. You just got to post. Like, ain't nobody about to follow you and you got two videos on there from, you know, 2021, 2022. Like, what we following you for? Like, yeah, your video nice, but it's like we want to see more of that. So that's what I'm trying to do with TikTok, if that makes sense. So let's come back from Chick-fil-A, ship out the order. Um, it is 218. So I think what I'm going to do is just probably 
chill before work because like I said, I already already started the, um, what is it? Mapping out the prices and stuff like that. All I gotta do is just add pictures to my website and then just plug in the, you know, prices of stuff. Hopefully my night is not bad tonight and I'm able to actually do some stuff. Um, so I'm just gonna eat and kind of just chillax to work because I am a little bit tired still and I do need to answer, respond back to emails and send stuff uh, to companies, you know, just, just content behind the scenes, emailing and stuff like that. Um, and I do need to slightly kind of clean up my apartment because yeah, it's a little mess. Hey y'all, it's Thursday, February 22nd, 3.36 in the afternoon. I just posted a vlog. Don't mind me, I look a mess. Literally just woke up, washed my face, brushed my teeth, did all of that. Um, because I had to take, well, because I had to post this video and I worked last night, so I got up at seven this morning. So right now what I'm doing is, like I said, I just posted my YouTube video, go check it out right here. Um, yeah, I'm on my laptop right now, as you can see, and I'm basically writing scripts for my voiceovers. Um, I had saw, if y'all watch Raven Elise, which I know most of y'all should, but Raven Elise, her friend Daisha, she has the twin, but Daisha, she had said that she started seeing growth and stuff like that with her TikToks or whatever, when she started to kind of like write out a script per se. Um, so not necessarily, I'm just like writing out a whole freaking like story dialogue, but me, I talk fast and I tend to really, when I start talking about something, I will be thinking about 10 other things in my head. So me trying to hear up and talk about each little clip, it just messes me up. So I kind of either write down like a little bitty, like obviously I guess, a little mini script and then just like little bitty pinpoints that I know I want to hit. So with recording the voiceovers, I do use a mic. This mic is from Walmart, like $29, $30. Um, I was watching who was it all of destiny she was showing that basically instead of her how can i say this she basically breaks her voice over into clips so instead of me talking so this video right now is a total i'll show y'all it's a total of 19 seconds instead of talking for 19 straight seconds you know she'll like cut it up into pieces and i used to try to like talk the whole like 19 20 30 seconds and i'm like Girl, that's not realistic. So I've been kind of writing down little mini scripts right now. Um, I am dropping my virgin hair collection today. So go shop. I do have three bundle deals and stuff like this. The hair I got in right now, um, I ain't did my hair. So yeah, but y'all know how the hair look. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm basically writing down a little, a little script. I just did this one. I'll show you guys this one. All right, this is the one that I just completed. If you follow me on TikTok or my business page there, you will see this. But this is the one I just made. Hey, touchdown, and I wanted to show you guys the new addition to AJB Beauty Collection. Today is the official drop of our virgin hair collection. I've had a few customers ask for HD Lace, Wig, 613, and more. Although my raw Vietnamese vendor does offer 613, she doesn't offer the other two things. I wanted to have a more affordable option for my babes and kind of fell in love with virgin hair all over again because it is honestly easier to take care of than raw hair, just being completely honest. I absolutely love this hair. I've been testing it out for over a month now, and I cannot wait for you girlies to try this out. I do have three bundle deals on the site so go check it out ajbbeautycollection.com okay period and this video is 34 seconds so i i only recorded two clips for the 34 seconds so like i talked for the first half of the video and then i cut it and then i talked for the last half of the video so this one is 19 seconds um I'm kind of just about to try to write my script. I may be able to talk straight for 19 seconds, with, 19 seconds with this one if I don't mess up, but I may cut this into two as well. So I'm just gonna write my little script real quick and then I'll come back and talk on here with the voiceover. Okay, so I wrote a script. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to say all of this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and record. I'm gonna try to record it in the full 19 seconds and then I may try to split it up and see, but I'm just gonna talk and see how, um, how long this little script that I wrote is gonna take. Pat touched down and I wanted to show you guys how I tag our new virgin hair collection. I do offer my personal package. Okay, see, I already messed up, I already messed up. I just talk so fast, y'all. Y'all know that, y'all know that, y'all know that. I get it from my mama. She get it from her mama. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to get that. 
pack tucks down and I wanted to show you guys how I tag our new virgin hair collection. I do offer my personal packaging vendor on my site if you are interested. These came out absolutely stunning. Shout out to my vendor, okay, period. They do go on and come off very easily. Do not forget to shop ajbbdcollection.com to check this out and to get the packaging vendor if you are interested. Okay, yeah. I just made up the last part on the fly, baby. I don't even know what I'm talking about. So let's start from the beginning and see what it sounds like. Pack touch down. Okay, real loud. I don't know why I be saying that so loud. We gonna fade it in. Pack touch down. And did I say patch? Akira, come on baby, get it together. Okay. So I'm done with the business talk right now. <laughs> I'm about to try to hear up and get this done because I am supposed to be going to my boyfriend's house um, today and I would like to get there before it gets dark because I got to drop prints off at my at his grandparents house so yeah I got a lot to do I'll catch back with y'all up when I'm actually I'll catch back up with y'all when I'm actually got myself together and action all right so as you guys can see I told y'all I was gonna pick up the camera later in the day the ring light is killing me right now um but yeah don't mind the hair you know i ain't doing my hair today i am at bay house we're about to put together the new bed for him a little room transformation if you will he's back there opening it up again i'll probably pop on the screen <laughs> yes <laughs> All right, voiceover care probably gonna talk because we're gonna try to hear and get this done, as well as we're gonna be talking this up ourselves. So y'all can be hearing what we talk about. Oh, <laughs> Straight like that. <laughs> oh yeah, this skinny. <laughs> oh yeah, you gonna take up a lot of space. You supposed to be my help. I am. I right, did. Come on. All right, moment of truth. Y'all didn't see it here. Charging! It says it at the top right there. Purr! Then I put my phone right there. I'm excited. So a little bit about the bed. We did order the queen size bed. This comes with the full headboard. It's very sturdy and durable. Um, no box spring is needed unless you just want to sit a little bit higher. This is basically like the rustic wood and steel gray. I absolutely love it. These are the little bitty cubbies that go at the end of the bed. You can literally store anything in them. He actually stored like some extra blankets, but you can do clothes, shoes, whatever you want. Um, it does come with the charger port at the top. You guys saw that. I absolutely love it because, girl, we'll put both of our phones up there. You can put an alarm clock. We had our phones there last night. It was charging. I put my glasses up there. Like, this extra added storage space is amazing. I absolutely love it. He is really enjoying it as well. He likes that it's not too big, but it's not obviously too small either. It's just the right amount of space. And you also have some storage under the bed as well. Um, besides these little pull-out drawers, you can also put in other stuff. So thank you so much for sponsoring this portion of the video. Don't forget to check down below in the description box. And hey, I'll update. Still here at Bay House. It is Friday, 7.57 in the afternoon or in the evening. I just cooked us burgers and... Oh, got me a Sprite. Um, just cooked us burgers and homemade potato wedges. This is a half a burger because I only had three burgers left. So I cut half of it. So we both got a burger and a half each and then potato wedges. I am vlogging! <laughs> I'm about to watch me something real quick so I can eat, turn on something. And then um, I'll leave tomorrow. I'm going to leave tomorrow morning. Um, I mopped and cleaned up his kitchen and all of that. You know, women, we just can't help ourselves, at least me. So I always just clean up when I'm, you know, most times when I'm over here, I feel like it. So yeah, about to eat, chill. Um, he got to go to work tonight. So he's going to leave me at about 10 30 ish so i'm gonna take me some melatonin and i'm gonna sleep because if i don't take the melatonin i'm not gonna be able to sleep while he's not here so yeah just want to check in for friday because obviously i'm not gonna be vlogging today um the bed felt amazing it was really really nice um i absolutely love it it's it's really cool like i'd be putting my phone at the top of it 
and you can charge your phone like it's it's just all around 10 out of 10 definitely recommend links and everything will be down in the description box below I'm about to turn me on a show and yeah i'll talk to y'all tomorrow when i get back to my house i got a lot of packages from amazon as well well i got a lot of packages from amazon as well and i cannot wait to get home and open them um yeah we'll, we'll talk about it tomorrow we'll talk about it tomorrow <laughs> yeah i just got back home from bay house um oh i went to my amazon thingy amazon hub thing and got my packages so one package right here then i got another package right here and then fedex literally delivered this package right here finally they delivered it exactly to my door because it was two men i saw my ring doorbell it was two men so why didn't they do that the last time the last four times so i'm gonna go ahead and open up these packages I'm still waiting on four more items to get here. Um, it says it's gonna arrive by 9 p.m. We're gonna see. Normally when it say arrive by nine, it arrives the next day. So I'm not getting my hopes up for that. If you watched my last vlog, me um, kind of redoing my guest bedroom, beauty room, office space, whatever you wanna call it. This is what I bought for my desk. It is a two pack. They're called cord organizers. I got five slots and a three slot. So it comes in a pack of two. They're like silicone. Seems really sturdy. And I'm just gonna stick this to my office desk and I use these to keep my cords in place. It was like $5 on Amazon. Okay, so I'm gonna get this out. This is, ooh, okay, 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 okay. This is my picture light. You guys already know what that's for. And then this is a trunk organizer. So when I go back downstairs, I didn't go pick up Prince today. He's still at his grandparents' house. <laughs> I told my mom I'll go get him tomorrow. Um, just because I have to edit the vlog that y'all watching right now. I gotta spend all day editing this. It is only 12.47, but I really wish I would've took my laptop with me down there so I could already get a jump start on editing, but it's cool. Kinda gave me a break. This is, everything will be linked in my Amazon storefront. Anything from Amazon, I always check my storefront. And a, a lot of y'all was asking where stuff was from in my last video, my um, bedroom transformation. I always check my Amazon storefront because nine times out of 10, it's gonna be from Amazon, girl. <laughs> and this one, I got this one because it was under like 15, $20. Um, it wasn't too big because I don't want anything to just take up my entire trunk. But I do like to keep a, um, I keep a blanket in my trunk. I used to keep a bottle of water. I keep my cleaning, like car cleaning supplies. I keep umbrellas, like just all of that type of stuff. And I want it to be in one compartment. So right now it's kind of just all over my car. So I decided to get a trunk organizer. And it looked like it got some, yeah, got some pockets here on the side. It got two pockets in the front and i specifically wanted this one because if i don't need all of this space in the car you can literally close it like this and make it to be like one little bitty cubby and i really like that because i'm like you know sometimes i may not need this big old thing all the way open maybe i just need something like this so i got this for that reason can't wait to put this in my car i am actually looking to get my car detailed um i got my car my car is a 2022 kia k5 and i got my car in 21 and i have not got my car detailed like ever i usually always clean it out and vacuum it you know go through the car wash whoop, whoop. my dad washed my car my dad is actually a detailer <laughs> like a professional detailer but i have not got my car detailed so i actually want to get my car detailed and you know put all my little new stuff in here and maybe refresh up my car all right so somebody had commented on my <clears throat> last living along weekly vlog that i should get a light to go above that and then that'll be chef's kiss i think is what she said or like the perfect addition to it i had already planned to do that <laughs> i just had to order it so this is the one i got it'll be linked down below in my storefront um i got a 13 inch i didn't know if i needed 13 inch or if i needed what was the other one 20 inch but somebody had a similar 
picture size like mine and I decided just to go ahead and get the 13 inch obviously because it was cheaper as well so I'm gonna plug this up it does say this needs to be charged um the comments well the reviews are mixed reviews like some people say it doesn't stay charged long some people say I'm like if you don't leave it on all day like I'm not gonna leave my on during the day like that's pointless um I'm gonna turn it on at night every once in a while just for like you know the vibes and ambiance but other than that you know I'm not really gonna use it so that's why I feel like it'll be okay for me um how does this go I'm pretty sure this goes oh I think this may be magnetic girl yeah so literally you just pop it on and pop it off I guess obviously because you got to recharge it so it goes like this on the wall and it's gonna hang down that is super cute I like that so I'm gonna go ahead and let it just charge up I don't know if it comes charged or if it doesn't come charged I'm gonna go ahead and charge it and then we're gonna unbox my new computer chair super excited because girl I'm about to start using this chair right now because like I said I gotta edit all day so I plugged it up over here at my bar and it is definitely dead because it's showing red I assume obviously it'll turn green when it's charged so we're gonna leave that there unbox my computer chair um, you know we don't ever really read directions but I guess we'll read the directions to see what it's talking about real quick because who actually reads these all right I know how to drill that in the hall turn on light off on the white warm and natural light color temperature switch reduce increase adjust the brightness so 15 30 60 and 120. so i'm always going to put mine on the timer that's also what someone had recommended in their um review obviously people that were saying it was going dead probably left it on all day and all night so um at night i'll probably do like 30 minutes to about an hour depending on and then you know it'll just automatically turn itself off so this is it super cute i'm gonna keep this in the living room all the way under simply because this actual desk has a little like keyboard attachment there I can definitely take that off but I do like to use that little keyboard attachment for extra storage but we'll see if this starts to get on my nerves or not um since I can't actually scoot it all the way under so um yeah I'm still trying to figure out how exactly I want my office to actually be so I did get on pinterest this morning don't mind my hair i gotta take down my sewing today um <laughs> but i did get on pinterest to try to see how i would want my office to look and honestly it's kind of hard because like 
this is a multi office so it's like i can't really just lay it out how i would want to if i didn't have all this extra stuff in here like if it wasn't like housing inventory vanity all of that then my desk would still be in the middle of the room and then that just be that but i don't know i don't know i don't know i'm probably going to be rearranging this room again <laughs> after I like clean it up and stuff because somebody had mentioned to put the chair facing the wall like the chair against the wall and then have the desk facing that way i thought about that but honestly with this one i won't be able to do that <laughs> um that's why they didn't put it towards the wall because my new chair i know i'm going to be able to lay all the way back prop my legs up stuff like that so honestly i may i don't know like i said i'm going to be switching stuff around y'all will see the finished product but i am super happy with this chair it already feels amazing so editing today will definitely be a lot easier on my back <laughs> and my freaking arms because this has no armrest it's it has cushion but it's a hard cushion and it's just i don't know it just sits so low to the ground it's just not comfortable so this one i am going to keep for now and i'm going to use this as my vanity chair so i'm going to keep that over there to do my makeup and my vanity um this chair is a step up from this little stool because i used to sit in this and do my makeup and hair review so i will be sitting in this from now on so yeah i'm just trying to figure it out like i said i didn't want wallpaper but depending on how i switch my room around i may end up, i don't know yeah i don't know <laughs> we, we gonna figure it out um i am waiting on another package that i wanted to open up and put up with you guys it's some pillowcases and a whole bunch of other stuff but it's not here yet and i honestly don't know when it's going to be here i do have these little stickies to put on my um desk so i'm going to use the one how many cords do i normally have <laughs> i have i think i'm just going to go ahead and use the one with the five slots on here because i be having my charger my laptop charger my ipad charging the mic so yeah i'm probably just gonna put this one up um i'm not gonna stick it just yet simply because like i said i'm not sure how i want my office set up and i want to make sure that i stick this in a place that i you know could keep up with it i was thinking of maybe sticking this under the desk so like you can't really see the cords but i don't know we'll see I mean, I got it in black so they can match the aesthetics, you know. But yeah, I'm like, man, it's really cute. My desk is a mess, so it's not giving the full effect. But um, yeah, share 10 out of 10. Definitely recommend it. It'll be linked down in the description box below. And yeah, it's coming together really nicely.